Hello, my name is Rampant Mystic, and welcome back to Slay the Spire. It is time for a daily. Daily challenge for April the 10th. Character defect, modifiers are heirloom, diverse, and night terrors. It is a medium scoring run, and let us begin. The more astute of you might have noticed that I am starting. Ooh, okay, thread needle. I'm starting the daily slightly later than most of the times I'm recording. And that is primarily because I had actually went and got my car's oil changed. I see uh, two elites and that's it. A couple of rests here, so I'm gonna go that that way. Uh, yeah, the oil and all the filters. Was like four filters or whatever, three filters. Uh, three, three, with the oil on three. Yeah, it's, uh, <sighs> it took a while. Uh, good thing it was at a friend of mine. He's... Uh, you know, he changes oil, does car repairs, it's complicated. I'm 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 not good with car repairing. I'm good with cars, just not car repairing. Uh car repairing, not car repairing. Right, so am I gonna take a defrag? I mean this early it's not a bad idea. Ooh, it's a defect run. Hmm. Good thing I'm not doing ascension tomorrow. Yeah, maybe a defrag? It's not a bad card. Yeah, you know what, I'll take it. I'm still thinking of Electrodynamics, but I would not pick it up if I got it. Primarily because I'm still planning on going for the Pauper modifier. Just a little bit of a boost to the score. Now give me dual cast. Come on. Be a good one. Okay, no dual cast. So dual cast next turn. Technically I needed only one uh, defend there, but I still wasn't gonna kill, so... No. Definitely not picking up Overclock. Ooh, okay. Nope. Let's see this one. Nope. This one? Definitely not. Uh, actually... Curse's Modifier. Wait a minute, I picked up a Defrag and I forgot that... No, you know what, I'm not taking Curse's this run. Or at least not for now. I totally forgot that we had Diverse and I actually took Defrag. Yeah, I I'm just realizing that there was an Iron Wave earlier. <laughs> yeah, I'm realizing that, like, right now. <laughs> this is kind of funny. Okay, two defense and a single strike. I guess I'll do four damage with the Lightning Orb. Which is, there is a point to that. First floor boss is Guardian. Cleave, yeah? Yeah. It's AoE, it's good AoE. Cleave. I think I picked up some AoE. I'm playing Zap here. I guess the looter has to die before the acid uh, slime. Slime, right? Yeah, slime. Because the looter's actually gonna leave eventually. Okay, good, you're hitting the looter, but I'm taking a bunch of damage. Okay, let's kill that one. Oh, right! One HP there. Well, it's dead now, but... Took a hell of a beating. I will take a leap here, right? Yeah, single leap. Here I actually wanted to upgrade the uh, defrag. I think it's gonna be useful. That's probably cleave. So this elite. Oh, boy. I'm thinking of using the Strength Potion. I just don't want to die to the Gremlin Knob. I mean, good thing I have Thread and Needle, don't get me wrong, but... That's gonna mitigate some of the damage, but I'm still gonna take a bunch. And there's no point in actually playing the Defrag now. And I kill next turn. Uh, there is a very, very vague possibility of not it not happening. Okay, it happened. Data disk! Glacier, right? Yeah, just go Glacier, go all Frost Orbs. And then just focus on damage. With a defrag and a data disk. Upgraded defrag on top of everything. It should be fine. Yeah, Orbs are gonna give me uh, 5 block each, so 15 per turn. I might as well kill that one. 
Which is actually going to be a big boost to blocking, to defending myself. For example, now I have 14. It's doing 13. I actually don't need to defend myself. I have 15 plus the thread needle, which is... Um, okay, it's dead. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Then possibly picking up something like a deadly poison. Glacier deadly poison. Ooh, noxious fumes. Alright, I just went full 360 here. I was planning on going aggressive. Like a cleave type aggressive, like rip and tear cleave, you know. Uh, dagger sprays. But now... I'm thinking, emotion chip, what could happen if I just really do go for mostly frost orbs? I have frost orbs and poison. With the defrag, I'm gonna rest here. I know it's gonna take max HP, uh, 5 max HP, but I, I don't have much of a choice there. I am fully defended. So which one am I actually striking? This one has the most block, so... Come on, give me a deep rack. Or cleave. Alright, technically I can kill two of them. And I should. Poison got him. Okay. Didn't need to deep rack there, but... Why not? So I'm not picking up anything else. In fact, picking up that leap was probably not the best idea I had, but... Yeah, I didn't know what the build was gonna be at the time. So I was assuming that it would just be a standard build. But for now, it's not. Okay, yeah, we're splitting on 26. Could have been a better split, basically. I fully defended. I'm gonna have to remove the zap now. And that's something that I don't need in this build. Again, fully defended. I mean, yeah, I played it there because I had nothing else to play, but otherwise it's not necessary. It's not needed. Okay. No. None of these. Probably not gonna be picking up cards, basically, anymore. Maybe an Oxious Fumes or a Catalyst, one of the two. I already have my AoE, so it's not that important that I pick up more AoE, so I'll just be trying to thin down the deck at this point. Yeah, sure, I'll double defend. I didn't need to. I... Sure, why not? Defrag Glacier. I just need to get the uh, Frost Orbs and the Defrag set up. Afterwards, it's, it's just deadly poison all day long. Okay. I'm gonna need to upgrade the Deadly Poison as well. Ooh, I don't have any rare cards, right? I don't. Good. It's tempting. Okay, Log of Lune. Well, let me set up. If I can actually set up against Log of Lune having 19... Yeah, having 19... Hmm. Ooh, next turn I'll have to open, but I think it's better next turn. Just so I have I have nothing to defend myself with next turn, so. I mean, this is the only defense I'm gonna get. At least now I have my defrag active. And I'm not gonna play the zap. I just want the lightning orb gone. Okay, well that's one way to get rid of it. And single defend just so I'm fully defended. Okay, now I'm fully defended. Guaranteed every turn, so I can just go all out aggressive. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You can remove all my decks. I'm still gonna be fully defended. Well, don't need to play anything. I guess I should play the Glacier, but I don't have a Blizzard, so it's not really necessary. Now, because Lagavulin doesn't remove focus, uh, having anything to do with focus and orbs is a big, big plus. Okay. And enemy is going to be dead soon. And Lagavulin actually doesn't scale. He downscales you, so... Yeah, it's slightly different mechanics there at work. 
No, none of these. And let us upgrade the Deadly Poison. Since that's going to be our main source of damage, especially against the Guardian. I will use the Zap here. Hopefully to avoid taking damage this turn. Defrag Glacier will not fully defend me. I might have to use the Explosive Potion. Actually, no. Let's see first. Yeah, he's gonna transform, it's fine. I still had six passive damage on the Lightning Orb, so more than fine there. I will dual cast it and never play that again. I can strike once, so I will. I still do need to hurry up against the Guardian. It shouldn't take too long to kill it. Got my full complement of Lightning Orbs? Of uh, Frost Orbs, sorry. So this is the only hit that actually can't fully defend with a, a complement of orbs and a uh, plated armor. So I will have to use a defense card here. But sooner or later, the poison is actually going to be built up to an amount where it's going to just transform him and kill him eventually. Okay, he's transforming now. There's the poison. There's no point in striking. Okay. Yeah, I will defend and just leave it at that. Alright, fully defended. Uh, Guardian doesn't scale as well, so... He scales only in the amount of heads he needs to take before he transforms, and that's it. Yeah, he's gonna be dead soon. In a couple of turns. As long as I don't actually attack before I block, I should be more than fine. I didn't need to do that. I don't know why I did it. I knew he was gonna have block, and I did it anyway. And enemy's dead. So yeah, this is the build. This is something that I'm gonna try. Uh, probably removing the strength potion. Ooh, demon form. Probably Sozu. I really won't be needing the potions now, will I? A spell is very defensive and does its damage passively, so... Elites. Now we can do three. I see three. I see a three elite path. That means skipping all these question marks, though. Eh. You can't have it all. At least that's what I'm told. Okay, coffee time while we while we wait for the shell parasite to slowly die. The thing is though, uh, this build heavily relies on getting defrag and glacier early. So it the deck needs to be a lot thinner. I'd say maybe 12 cards. Yeah, 12 cards seems like a plan. So this means not picking up anything else. I mean, yeah, I want a catalyst, that is true. Hmm. I'd still need to remove a bunch of cards. I haven't actually gone to a shop. Oh wait, enemy's dead. What am I doing? Oh, there's a whirlwind though, but I already have a cleave, so no. If I take the Whirlwind, even though it's upgraded, that, this means I have to remove an extra card, which I don't want to do. Give me a card removal. Well, thank you! Alright, so I wanted to remove the Zap. It's not going to give me anything from the uh, fires, but... I don't need the Zap. Probably the most useless card at the moment. Okay! Oh, well, let me remove a Strike. Ruining the Decahedron will actually mostly work if I can thin down my deck and consistently get Defrag and Frost and Glaciers. When do I have my next shop? Actually kind of early on, so I'm not going to pick up anything. Maybe the Anchor? The Anchor is a good item. Just start off with 10 block, it'll help me out a little bit. Lee's Waffle though. No, you know what? I'm skipping. We're going to see what's in the next shop. Oh, this is going to be an issue. I mean, sort of an issue. 
I just need to get three orbs and a deep rag and I'll be fine. I was, I think I was fully, yeah, I was fully defended there. Exact, exactly 10 damage. And here I'll just defend as much as I can, because I don't want to take the damage. And Deadly Poison will eventually get him, but that's gonna take a while. I need to get through his artifacting first. I finally got through. I'm actually one defense short, one block short. And so we're getting 19? Well, there's nothing for me to do here. He keeps getting block. Keeps getting block. Okay. A slow fight. Isn't really going anywhere. Okay, now it's uh, like this Sphere Guardians. Yeah, the Sphere Guardians. Uh, it's he's dead. He's dead. I will double strike. Yep. Okay. No, none of these. The only card that the game might really uh, force me to pick up is something like a Catalyst at this point, or an Oxious Fumes. Alright, membership card definitely, right? Just before I card remove. I card remove a strike again. Yeah, I don't need them. I have a cleave, and that's the only uh, AoE I actually need. Ancient tea set is not bad, but that's only if I have bag of preparations. Because it'll help out in the boss fights. I guess the second defrag wouldn't go amiss, but it's not really necessary. Very few enemies do more than 20 damage per per turn. Maybe a footwork. No, no, no. no. Enough, enough thinking. Just, just do it. Just do it! I do have a shop coming up, so you know I'm not, I'm not gonna spend any gold. I might card remove again. Did get down to 12 cards, now I'm planning on picking up a couple more. Of course, those couple more would be, you know, Catalyst, Doxious Fumes, possibly, you know, potentially maybe a second defrag. Uh, but that's just a theory for now. We're gonna see how it goes. I still haven't gotten the Glacier, there it is. I could potentially remove a couple of defense as well and just get an extra Glacier. Now this enemy is gonna scale up insanely. Insanely quickly and we actually don't scale up that quickly. That's 30 damage. Not dual casting. Probably should have but... Okay, we're fully defended for now. There's a Glacier. I need to defend here. Okay, dead next turn probably? Depending on what I get? Okay, dead. Dead, 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 dead. There it is. Courier. Okay. Loop isn't bad, but... I'd rather have something like an extra deep rag than a loop. And I don't want a steam barrier, so... I'm getting the gold. Oh no, not the snake plant. Well, this is the only defund I got. I'm gonna play it. I don't want to take the damage, uh, at least the full amount of damage, so. The motion chip is going to trigger a couple of times. Only once, really? Okay. Probably should have dual cast at first. I mean, he's not dead here. It's 20. You know what, I'll just defend. I really shouldn't take damage. Or at least that's what I keep telling myself. And for some reason I still keep taking damage. 
And Anami's dead. Mm, yeah. Even though the blur is fine. There's a toxic egg. It incentivizes my next uh, glacier pickup. Not going to, but it does incentivize it. Let's see what the dual cast hits first. Okay. I actually don't want to hit that mad goblin. So our only AoE is a single cleave, which I believe is not upgraded? Yeah, it's not. So I'm gonna actually have to start doing deadly poison on the backliner. Otherwise he's just gonna scale out, out of control. Yep, I'm gonna take some damage. That was sort of obvious here. Mm, yep. Nope, nope. Start targeting the back one. I mean, no, I should be targeting the gremlins. They, they, they are getting strength as well. Oh yeah, that was a bad idea. That was probably a worse idea, wasn't it? Hmm. Yes, 36. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. This actually can't help me. Oh, this could. Not this turn. Oh, not this turn, though. Oh, whatever. If I had an energy potion. Yeah, I'm dead. That was stupid. That, that was really... Oh, no. Hmm. Not quite the top. Oh, you, you're taunting me, are you? That was my mistake. Lack of AoE and the setup was... It was lacking. And should I even check? Like, top 2000? Eh, I guess we're in the 700s. Ugh. Well, this has gotta happen from time to time. I know it's been the second daily, I believe, that I've lost in a row. I think it's the second. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's the second. For now, though, I'm gonna end off the episode on this note. Mm. And I actually have to continue and actually have to record something else. But first, I'm going to have a cup of coffee. As always, my name has been Rampant Mystic. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Slater Spark. And I do hope to see you all in the next one.